What you do with this is you just bleed it with your hands, it's the easiest. The sauce really just levels it up. Definitely eat with that sauce, that sauce mm -hmm. is so good. Rainy day in Seattle, but I'm pretty excited for this adventure. And it's actually sunny here, so we not only found the sun, but we're gonna find some really good food. Yeah, and it's Balkan food, which is where I'm from. I'm from Bulgaria, this food is Bosnian, which is very close. They just call them different things, but they're the same foods. Yeah, so we ordered a lot. This is like a newer, like a pop-up, so you have to order online. And on select days of the week, I think only once a week, the menu changes every week, but you place your order online, then you come and pick it up. Funny enough, you're doing the ordering and I'm the one from the book, and so I don't even know what we're getting, but we'll find out at home. I don't know what we're getting either, so. <laughs> Again, I have no idea what we have, but maybe it's like a pizza. <laughs> a Bosnian pizza. All right, are you excited? I'm incredibly excited, but you're probably more excited than me because you haven't had anything to eat today. <laughs> That's so, true. He's been looking forward to this all day long. Let's start with, uh, I'm not actually sure what's what here. Well, but let's look at it. the first thing yeah. is Did the... you get the chicken yatsu? Yes. So, oh, okay. okay. We, I did. We're here to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the tikvin jaka, is how I first <laughs> pronounced it. It was like, no. <laughs> It better be zucchini. Yes. So anyway, that word, it means pumpkin or also could mean zucchini. So I just like pumpkin, I like zucchini. So we're hoping yeah. zucchini it is. Here's what it looks like. It looks super good. It's like that phyllo dough, I think. And yeah, it reminds me a lot of the banita. What you do with this is you just break it with your hands. It's the easiest. Mm. There. Oh, yeah. It just breaks. So that is a... Zucchini take on the bun, it's a, as far as I'm concerned. Others call it a beauty hack. Mm, mm -hmm. I love that phyllo dough. It has like a nice like buttery feeling to it. And it's crunchy, but it's not like all the way. It's actually a little soft inside too. You'll notice the common element here is the dough. Everything has a lot of dough, which is why you know, we usually need the salad here. And this is too little salad in my opinion. Normally in Bulgaria, you would have five times more salad for this much dough. Well, that was one serving, so maybe it should have been one salad per person. Or per order. But yeah, this is the Bosnian tomato and onion side salad. And yeah, what we're really curious about right here is how good the tomatoes are, because I did not like tomatoes until I went to Bulgaria and ate tomatoes there. And your tomatoes, I don't know what you guys do, but they're so good. Yes, we make them with love. <laughs> or something. <laughs> I can only eat like Bulgarian tomatoes now. Mm. So let's These see. These are good, yeah. They are good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were like, don't get it, don't get it. I'm like, maybe they do something good with their tomatoes. I don't know. Because <laughs> yeah, the Balkans have the best tomatoes by far. Even the yeah, Italians that are really super do. food themselves agree. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely eat with that sauce. That sauce mm -hmm. is so good. In Bulgaria, the cheese would be inside in the form of feta. But this, the cheese is in the form of a dip on the outside. It's we nice. don't have any other Balkan places in Seattle. There was actually one, a Bulgarian one, up in Vancouver, BC. But they shut down. The last mm. time we went there, we actually drove there to get like their bonitas for breakfast and they were closed, like permanently. And we're like, no. But we did find a Bosnian bakery in Arizona of all places. It was <laughs> yeah. really good. We have an episode about that, or did we vlog that we did, one? Yes. I think so. Mm -hmm. So our other series going on about Arizona actually features Bosnian food as well. Okay, so that thing is a win. Let's see what we have here. So here we have another one. This one, the Koa Pide. That's not so familiar to me being from Bulgaria, but it looks a lot like the Georgian Hachapuri. Just like it in shape and really the dough and everything, cheese inside. And this one is with caramelized onions, which we both love. Yes, and it also comes with a sauce. I don't know if it's the same cheese sauce or a different one, but we'll find out. Mmm, mm. it's amazing. Mmm, mm-hmm. It does remind me of a pizza, actually. Yeah. Because um, it did come in those little pizza boxes, and so you're like, huh, is it like a pizza? And it's close, I'd say without the tomato sauce, you know, but the dough is really soft, kind of like a pizza dough. And then there's there's a lot of cheese, um, not quite mozzarella, but better, actually. I like the flavor of this cheese. Yeah, it's a different one. I, I don't know the word in English. Yeah. If you like pizza, like with white sauce, I mean, that's, they're not exactly the same, but they're kind of close, and I think you'd like that a lot. This is more juicy than a pizza, it's mm -hmm. really It is, yeah. Rich. Just too. It's good by itself, but add that sauce and it gets even better. <laughs> it's a good sauce. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a cheesy version of mayo. I don't know what it I is. I really like it. Yeah, it's like a creamy, 
Not super cheesy, but very creamy, but it has a little bit, a bit of that cheese flavor. It's funny that you like Balkan food. I took it there two times for a while. Mm -hmm. Well, at this point, I've been exposed to it enough, but yeah, I really do like it. Yeah, really good flavor. So we eat really well in our household because it's either Asian food or Mediterranean food. So it's the best of both worlds, I think. And what did you think when you went to the Balkans to eat? It was better, actually, because before then we had just been getting like frozen food or just like, you know, it wasn't really homemade food. But when you go and it's authentically homemade, it's just so much better. Especially the vegetables in the orchards in mm -hmm. the Balkans, to me, are the best ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really surprised by the vegetable quality. I don't know what you guys do with your gardening because it's just so <laughs> good. Your produce is just like, it has a different flavor to it. Yeah, I'm not sure, though I do remember them constantly telling us in school how good our soils are. There's also the many generations of heirloom cultivation in the Balkans. People are really into that. Every household has its heirloom seeds over there. So, this is like the meat pizza of sorts here. So, you can see that there's a lot of meat on there. And I don't know the flavor profile, I don't know if this is spicy, I kind of hope it is, but maybe not. See how they give us a little bit of sad parsley? <laughs> but we happen to have a fresh good one. It's a little wilted, it was probably okay before it went into the box, but since we had to drive home, got a little wilted. The reason we have fresh parsley is that I cooked Mediterranean food the other day. <laughs> and parsley is a big part of it actually, and mm. you'll see when you try fresh parsley with this food how well it goes. Mm. Yes, he made a really excellent Mediterranean style halibut. It was so good. Yeah, that will be repeated. <laughs> Please make that again. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the only time we ever cooked. No, that's an exaggeration, but no, the most effort I put into cooking. That was a lot of effort, yeah, it turned out really well. Mm, yeah. I like this. The spices are good over there. Mm-hmm. And Jenny, I try a little parsley like after. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, the freshness is um, oh, yeah. It's nice because this is pretty greasy. Mm-hmm. So the little fresh parsley actually helps yeah, out. I like that a lot. You know what still kind of <laughs> is kind of strange about the way you guys eat is how you guys add spice to your food. You just take like a full-on pepper and you just bite chunks out of it. And I've gotten used to it now, but I remember just the first time doing that or seeing that, and I was like, seriously, <laughs> you just bite into the pepper? Yeah, we just eat fresh peppers. What better way is there to eat the Hot pepper? peppers too, by the way. These <laughs> right. are not the sweet ones. These are the full on hot ones. Yeah, I like this. It's like, a, it's ground beef on top, and it is all about that seasoning. That mm -hmm. seasoning, I don't even know what seasoning that is, but. I don't know the names of the spices mm -hmm. translated. This one I would say is a little bit harder to eat, this meat one, because it's all cool. that meat kind of crumbles off. It's a little bit easier to eat the other one, but yeah, it's good though. I guess so you good. can use a knife and a fork <laughs> alternatively. Mm -hmm. The sauce really just levels it up. Well, first of all, if you were wondering if that was enough food for two people, it was because we actually had leftovers. So between the two of us, even without Martin eating all day, we still had some leftovers. And so we're pretty full. It is pretty rich food mm -hmm. and that's characteristic for the food over there. But that is why we eat with a lot of vegetables normally and big salads, like the volumes are big and here normally you get a little sad salad. So we're kind of trained, at least I'm conditioned, when I sit down and eat, I look for three things on the table, like a carb of some sort, usually bread over there, and some protein and a salad. Like I, if one is missing, then I feel like something is not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I always say they don't know how to make a salad around here and the best salad is the classic Greek salad that they know, but here they managed to make even that wrong. So <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> it's this sad iceberg lettuce they mm. put in it. You have to get nice flavorful lettuce as a base, but you don't have to have too much lettuce here. It's almost all lettuce and it's kind of dry and sad. And over there, it's like in proportion with also onions and tomatoes and cucumbers and you put the nice feta cheese inside and the dressings are really just olive oil and vinegar. So finally, the little bit of uh, spoiling is a known entity, the baklava. We call it baklava, actually, where I'm from. Not baklava. No, we call it baklava. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, everybody knows this. this is actually one of my favorite desserts, so. I don't know if this is gonna be different from any of the ones that we've tried before, but so far it smells on point. And it is about how you make it. Um, 
I like it. We grew up eating this like on a regular basis. For example, Christmas or New Year's, you have a big tray like this of it. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> dangerous. I'm excited. But yeah, the nice thing too is that it also uses the same filo dough. So that dough that we had in the teak vignettes. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yes. it says. <laughs> Yeah, after I try it, I'll tell you what I think. And, okay. And what I think makes a good baklava. Oh, I would like to hear your opinion, actually. <laughs> smells like nice walnuts, this one. It is a good one. So what makes a good one is that you have to have it crispy, but you also have to have it moist. You don't want it soggy and you don't want it dry. You want like the perfect balance between the two. Mm -hmm. This one was perfect, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit flakier on top, but the uh, towards the bottom, it's a little bit more moist from all that honey <clears throat> and sweetness, which makes sense, that's just where it gathers. So yeah, it's a nice combination of both. And lots of nuts. I guess these are walnuts, huh? mm -hmm. Yeah. Walnut is also a huge ingredient in the Balkans. Your grandma gave us a whole bag of walnuts <laughs> the first time we met her. <laughs> she had, uh, foraged all these walnuts and cracked them, and we had a big bag that we brought home. <laughs> Exactly. My grandma always forages and especially likes to forage walnuts. So mm -hmm. that's how you know. Perfect dessert. Just the right amount of sweetness. And you know, it's buttery, but it's not overpowering. That's the kind of desserts that I like. I'm not into like the too much chocolate or overpowering sweetness, but this was just nicely balanced. You can really taste all the, all the ingredients in here. So overall, favorite dish? It was the onion PD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would say for the savories, I'd agree that that one was my favorite. The meat was good, it's just a little overpowering after a while, so I actually like the lightness of the caramelized onion instead. But of everything, this is actually my favorite <laughs> <laughs> baklava, because I love it so much. But this is really, really well done. Yeah, yeah, that's a home kind of staple. Oh, and the tomatoes. <laughs> yes, the tomatoes. tomatoes. I will buy so many of those, seriously. Like, the, those are so good. You should just sell tomatoes by the pound in that seriously, restaurant. Seriously, yeah, 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 because we will buy them. <laughs> pay premium for mm -hmm. those. Yeah, so really great. Uh, if you guys do live in the Seattle area, we would definitely recommend It's bosnianbakery.com, I think. We'll leave a Is link it? below. Something like that. <clears throat> I'll leave a link in the description because I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I think it is. And yeah, they do, right now it's just once a week and you have to pre-order to pick it up in Queen Anne. But definitely worth trying at least once. And the menu does change every week, so it keeps you coming back. So we'll have to stay tuned and see what else comes up with the menu. We'll be regulars, mm -hmm. we know that much. Mm -hmm.